iFixit reached out to me a while ago, um, right before as I was packing up the lab, so before the lab was actually being torn down, and they said, we noticed you're using our old bit and screwdriver set. And they said, we'd like to send you a new one. They didn't say anything about, you have to do a review, here's the stipulations, you need to do this, you need to do that. They just said, hey, can we send you uh, the new kit? Tell us what you think, you know, use it in your videos. Uh, I guess the screwdriver review kind of caught their attention. Remember the screwdriver review? Small little video I did back a while ago, introducing this one versus this one versus another one I have around here somewhere. Anyway, they were generously nice enough to send me this. So we have to start using this. I'm gonna use this for about a month, maybe a couple weeks, be enough time, and then I'll get back to you and tell you my thoughts on this. But for right now, let's do a quick uh, unboxing and see what's exactly in this little screwdriver kit. Nice black box finish here. That's actually pretty nice. So we have this nice cloth velcro kit here that folds out. Wow, look at that. Let's go ahead and close this up, set this aside, put this in view here. It, it actually has uh, quite a bit of stuff involved here. Um, we have about six picks, uh, metal splurger, very, very soft. This would be great for getting under screens. I got a screen replacement on an iPad I have to actually do. Some, uh, some of the nylon pointers. I actually have most of these tools already like this I have, but mine is actually very cheap. And the chrome is actually chipping off, so it's nice to have one that doesn't have any chrome pieces chipping off. Their tweezers look pretty much identical to the kit I own, my favorite kit anyway, ESD safe tweezers, except, you know, it has iFix its logo. I wonder if they are the same. They have another pair of tweezers in here with a uh, nylon tips, a reverse tweezer. So this way it actually clamps on and will hold on to things. Kind of nice. Um, and I think I could probably, they look about the same design as the other tweezers I've been looking at. It'd be nice if I can order a couple of ceramic tips so that way I can use it for SMD and hot soldering stuff. Ceramic tips will definitely take the heat a lot more than nylon. I wouldn't recommend doing any soldering with this or hot air work, rework station with it comes with a ground arm strap, uh, suction cup, key ring. I got a ton of these. I actually ordered these in bulk, but it's always good to have more because these tend to break. So right now we'll just put these back in the kit. If I can get it back in the kit, there we go. And uh, yeah, actually, not bad. And this is your actual screwdriver set. And the nice thing about this is, it's magnetic, it comes off. So the magnetic, what are we gonna need here today? We're gonna need this, we're gonna need this. And the magnetic portion is actually pretty neat because it has a multi-purpose. You can actually use it for holding screws in place on the current project or build that you're working on, well, except for that big nut apparently. A little too much weight. But, you know, laying flat, they're not gonna go anywhere. So that's actually a fairly nice uh, nice little deal. I like that. Uh, these tweezers are so much easier to work with because they just grab things. You just open them up and that would be a lot easier if I can get ceramic tips for holding capacitors and things in place. That would be awesome. After I try to see if I can get some ceramic tip replacements for these nylon tips. It's just four screws. I should be able to get tips. I've seen them on the internet before. And see if we can replace those with the ceramic. We can fold this up while we're not using this for the time being. Just throw that back in there for right now. And let's take a closer look at the actual screwdriver kit itself. It's held, it's actually a plastic piece held on with four neodymium magnets and actually eight, two in the top, or four in the top, four in the bottom. There's a big Again, magnetic flat piece that was able to hold it to the little fabric kit and Velcro. They say it's easy one-handed open. That is true. So right there, I'm actually liking that right now, especially since you can just kind of sit it there, open it up, 
Let me see. Open this one by hand. Uh, yeah. That was really a pain. And the only reason I can open this one with hand is because I'm familiar with where the clips and the tension pieces are on this for having this for a couple of years. So, yeah. This is actually a lot easier to open one handed. This looks like it could be used as a screw tray, something to hold the little bits and pieces in place when you take something apart, or screws for the current project that you're going to be putting things together. And inside here, I really, really do like this setup. Look at that. That's really nice. It's actually just pieces in foam. You see how that just kind of fits right in there. Now I'm going to tell you why this is very nice. Not only is it a very nice, easy arrangement to see exactly what you have and all the different security bits and everything, but uh, I'll be open that with two hands. Compared to something like this, which you have to pull out the piece, you have to find your piece first off, and and the logos on every one of these little pieces here is covered up by the next row. So you, you got to pull them out to look at them. There is, I don't know if you can get this on camera. Yeah, you can. There is writing on exactly, you know, a triple zero Philip, double zero zero Philip, one, two, three, and there's writing stamped into the foam padding so you know exactly what bit it is and where it goes back into its original location. Uh, so a lot like the identification they had on the older set here, except a lot easier to find at a clear just viewing, looking over the whole thing instead of going through each individual one, trying to find the one you want. And then having to put them back um, and then also getting them out of this little rubber holder so I like that too as well very very nice improvements on the design and the thought behind it no doubt so let's see here this one always has the extension always if you're gonna put it back in here you cannot put it back in the case unless you actually put the extension back in we'll pull the extension off pull the driver out so we can take a look at the driver here and uh, Let's see what else we have. Uh, bunch of bits. Uh, your your standard. I, you know I own three of these. I don't think I've ever used this once or had the need to use this once. But eh, we'll leave it in there. And of course, the new one comes with that same kind of bendy extension, it's nicely laid in the foam. The actual driver itself, oh, if you don't want to use this as a screw hold or anything and it's in your way, the magnets work on both sides. Look at that, you turn it upside down and nothing falls out. That is really nice. So the screwdriver itself, real easy to pull out, still a one-handed operation. And there it is. I like it. That's pretty good. So you find the bit you want. Let's go for, uh, hmm, let's see here, uh, little, little pro tip. When you're working on something that takes multiple bits, take the one bit that you're currently using or not using, flip it upside down while you grab your second bit. So then when you have to go back to that bit, you know exactly where it is. It's the one that's upside down. So sometimes you're taking something apart, it takes two or three different bits and you're swapping between them. You can just turn it upside down so you know exactly where, you, where the other bits are that you already sized up to work for whatever you're working on. And we'll take a one-handed operation. We pulled it out one-handed. We found the bit we needed one handed. We dropped it in there. Magnetic. Magnetic? Yes, definitely magnetic. And it feels really nice. Look at this. This is really nice too. That is a really smooth ball bearing setup. I can't complain about that at all. The gnarling on the, uh, see how close we can get the zoom in here. Seems like we have some really, really nice gnarling on, on, on gnarling on the uh, aluminum handle here. Very uh, deep, very aggressive. You can get really good grip on that. So at first I was kind of disappointed because this one had a dual purpose. This is a 54-bit kit, by the way. They list everything that's on the back here. I'll take a quick shot of that so you can have a comparison. I'll show you. The back of the yellow one shows in there. But this little piece here, the extension is used to handle as a T-handle for extra torque. This was actually a really nice thing. And one of the things that I enjoyed the most about this kit is to be able to take this extension and do this so you can have that extra, that extra torque to, you know, get a screw loose or tighten something down to a proper torque. Um, I always thought that was a really good kind of inventive 
thing to do, but at the same time, the gnarling on this has, the grip is so good, I don't think I'll need that. I won't miss that at all because you can really get some really good grip on this. That's really nice. Let's check out the uh, comparison here. Let me back and zoom out a little bit now. And if I do the same, yeah. I mean, it's got ball bearings, but it's not gonna spin. No, not, not quite the same. That's really nice, I like that. Um, and of course, I've already, once again, this is my second kit, I've already lost one of the little rubber pieces that used to be on here. It broke. So I'm down to two rubber pieces, and that's all you really have to grab onto this driver. It does fit in the hand. And the ball bearing will palm in the back like this, so you get that turning action. So the ball bearings work. They may not be as smooth as on the new one, but they work. This one, I'd say, is about the same size. Fits in the hand. Yeah, if you look at these side by side without the bit. we got a little bit more length on the new one here. So not bad at all. And then of course we have to compare it to, why not? We'll make this a little screwdriver review. I'll do a more in depth review, but I want to use this for a couple weeks first before I give my final thoughts on it. Uh, this one still has that amazing feature, but apparently version 2 They've they've put some seals inside this so it doesn't flip out like that anymore It doesn't go back as easy and if you look at the gnarling on this 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 is a lot smoother I mean it's there, but it's not nearly as aggressive so my finger my thumb can actually slide across it very easily this I Think I just took a layer of skin off <laughs> by rubbing on it yeah, it, it's really that aggressive. It's really nice. Um, Frankie over at 99 Cent Hobbies was actually nice enough to to send out the version 2. I didn't own the version 2 because I mentioned that I fixed it with sending me a new kit. So a fair comparison would be to compare the version 2 with the version 1 of this. And the first thing you notice right off the bat is everything else seems to be about the same. Oh yeah, I, you know what? I should really mention the it doesn't spin as nice this way, but it definitely does have a nice ball bearing set up to it. It is a little thicker, feels a little bit more comfortable in my hand, but again, I, I'm used to it, so I really need to use this for a while before I can say. Length comparison between these two, these are actually pretty much identical in length. Yeah, a uh, little, little thicker, but at, at, at the iFix, it's most, I'd say, the, the thickest part. And diameter they're about the same it just narrows down here where this kind of maintains the diameter almost all the way through it uh, and version 2 the biggest difference is the ball bearing c-clamp to hold the bits in to a magnetic no washers inside it's easy release and easy put back and the version 2 they put some washers in there the reason for the washers the, the rubber gasket washers they put in there was for stability while it was extended, but it now takes a little bit of pressure to pull out and, and put back, so you're not just gonna... doesn't work like that. So, will I use the version 2? Eh, I don't know, but to have a fair comparison, I needed all of them. Frankie was nice enough to actually send this to me. Uh, he scored a couple of them when he was looking at them, I guess. So, all in all, I would have to say, we gotta start using the new screwdriver kit here, because how else am I supposed to give a fair review and opinion of iFixit's new screwdriver kit unless I start using it? So we'll start using this today, as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and set these aside. And, oh, one other thing, they have a few extra bits in here than the standard 54 kit bit. They even have a bit now. If I ever choose to take apart my Apple Watch, there's now a bit in there for it. I think they're one of the only few, probably one of the only kits that actually has that security bit in there. And we can do a quick close up on what's included in this package as far as the different bits and everything go. So hopefully that's focusing. Can I do a side-by-side -side on that? Probably. There you go, old one, new one.
So there you go, pretty much the difference between the old and new. A lot of improvements done, much better driver, much better feel to it right in my hand, right off the bat I can tell you that. Um, and they were also nice enough to send a few other extra things out with it as well. Uh, let me see, they have a, I have a poster, I have some decals, they got this ESD safe anti-static tray for holding screws as you're taking things apart. So not only do you have the option to use this as a base to put your screws in, but you also have this, if you buy one of these, these are fairly inexpensive. Uh, this is, I think, a 100 watt LED, and give you an idea on how big that tray is there. It's a good size tray. The screwdriver actually fits nicely over here, so you can put your screwdriver in different bits here, and then the screws you can line up through here. Um, they asked me what other iFixit items I owned, and I happened to mention that I owned one of these magnetic little uh, pads. Uh, basically, it's just, well, it's magnetic, so if you have these little screws, let me use the tweezers here. Now I'm going to have to get rid of this chair. I'm pretty sure that's sounding pretty weird on video right now. There we go. So, being a magnetic pad, it'll hold your screws in place. Not like you'll ever be standing it almost straight up and down, but um, at some point I lost the marker. It's actually a right off marker, so you can put washer, screw, whoops, put the washer back where it goes, and thing. So you can actually label what the things are within little squares as you take things apart and it's got an eraser on the back. The eraser works okay. You, you can't get it completely clean. You can never get it completely clean. But at one point I had lost this marker so they were nice enough to send another one. The irony is is when I was moving the lab, guess what I found? But thank you anyway. Now when I lose one of these again, I'll know where the other one is. I have it back up in my drawer now. And just a much easier way of cleaning this up. Basically a wipe off board, but magnetic wipe off board. So we'll set this aside. So it was nice that they sent me the screwdriver or the marker, the screwdriver kit. Uh, the ESD safe tray, some decals, and a poster that you'll see on the microscope bench eventually.